We're at the 103 bridge on the Kickamuit River in Warren, and I have never seen so many blue crabs in any area of Narragansett Bay. I mean, we just looked over the bridge and we could see a dozen of them uh, within, within reach. So very quickly, we came down and caught a few. I have two big angry males here, and they are uh, posing for the camera. Uh, blue crabs have uh, historically come and gone in Narragansett Bay. They, uh, there have been a few good years that people can remember, but none quite as amazing as 2010. Uh, they tend to do better, we think, when we have warm water and when we have uh, a lot of fresh water input in the form of rain. And we've certainly had both of those things in 2010. Recall the big floods that we had in early spring made many of the upper tributaries, like the Kickamuit River here to Mount Hope Bay, uh, very fresh. And for whatever reason, we're seeing the crabs in force, all different sizes. We saw spawning uh, pairs here. We saw uh, uh, little tiny juveniles and uh, lots of big edible males. So people are just cashing in on it this summer. We could be looking at the bay of the future in so many ways. The water is warmer uh, than we ever remember it, seeing temperatures up into the lower 80s Fahrenheit in places like this. Um, we are seeing more extreme rain events and storm events. And uh, there's been, you know, people say that, that as evidence of warming, you're seeing a, a change in the cast of characters in Narragansett Bay, uh, away from the cold water species like lobster and codfish and winter flounder, and uh, conditions that favor an assemblage like you might find in the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, blue crabs, menhaden, striped bass, uh, silverside minnows, all of these things can do well in water that's warm and has relatively low oxygen. So uh, will we see more uh, good blue crab years on the bay and what does it say about the rest of Narragansett Bay? Uh, that's what we're looking into here. To catch blue crabs, here's what you need to know. In, Ro in Rhode Island, you must be a Rhode Island resident. The uh, crab's carapace, its shell, must measure five inches long from point to point. And uh, you can't fish from sunset to sunrise, so only daylight hours. Possession of egg-bearing females is prohibited. You'll see if she has eggs on, on her, uh, underneath the body of the crab, it's like a, a yellow or orange, just mass of eggs. You gotta put those right back. Uh, big males have, have the best uh, meat on them anyway.